Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cody and today I'll be bringing you my round 24 NRL tips 2022. Last week I got 7 out of 8 games correct with the only game that I tipped wrong was the Rabbitohs when the Panthers won. Other than that, we've got 2 exciting games um, for this round which are the Rabbitohs vs Cowboys and Storm vs the Roosters. Let's get into today's video. Our first game of the round is between the Brisbane Broncos and the Parramatta Eels on the Thursday night. The Brisbane Broncos is currently sitting in 8th place. They had a big loss against Melbourne Storm last week, 60 points to 12. It's like they were not at the game in front of their home crowd of around 43 to 45,000 people from what I heard. Now, Broncos faced a lot of trouble. and They could be falling out of the top 8 by the end of the season. But I'm strong that they will stay in the top eight, but we'll just have to wait and see. And hopefully they'll have a better game against the Parramatta Eels this week. The Parramatta Eels currently sit in fifth place, and they managed to get a big win over the Bulldogs last week, 42 points to 6 at Combank Stadium. Now, they're on their way to secure a home finals, and if they manage to win their last two games, they will secure a home final if they finish fifth or sixth place. Now, between the last 10 games between these two clubs, the Parramatta Eels have got 7 out of, seven games out of 10. And the last win for Brisbane over Parramatta at Suncorp Stadium was in 2019, when they won 17 points to 16. Now, the Brisbane Broncos have already got a win over the Parramatta Eels from early in, only a couple of weeks ago, 36 points to 14. But for this game, I'm going to tip the Par Parramatta Eels to win by 10 points. I think they'll be too strong, and uh, they'll play very confident after a good win over the Bulldogs last week. Well, Brisbane will be in the game, but I don't see them winning. Our first two of Friday night games, which kicks off from 6pm, is between the minor premiers, the Penrith Panthers, and the New Zealand Warriors. Now, the Panthers have confirmed their minor premiership last week after they managed to beat the Rabbitohs 26 points to 22 at the Core Stadium. While the Warriors' season continues with disappointment as they succumb to a loss over the Cowboys at Queensland Country Bank Stadium, 48 points to 4. The Warriors have struggled against the Panthers in recent times as, as the Panthers have managed to win 8 of their past 10 against them, winning 5 in a row as of now, and the Warriors' last win over the Panthers was in 2019 where the Warriors won 30 points to 10 at Penrith Park. Now for this game, I'll be tipping the Panthers to win by 22 points. They have been dominating this competition this year with only just three losses to the um, Eels and one to um, Melbourne Storm. As they've been playing very well this year, even without their half's partners, Luai and Cleary. I think they'll be too good for this game as the Warriors will continue to struggle and they'll finish down in the bottom four. And the main game on Friday night, which start, kicks off at 7.55pm or 8pm is between the Melbourne Storm and the Sydney Roosters. Now the Melbourne Storm currently sit in fourth place on a four game winning streak while the Roosters sit in six, um, six, sixth place on a six game winning streak. The Melbourne Storm flogged the Brisbane Broncos last week 60 points to 12 while the Roosters murdered the West Tigers 72 points to 6 and that was their last game at the SCG as they moved to Allianz Stadium next week in round 25 against the Rabbitohs. The Storm in recent memory have beaten the Roosters in, their, in 7 of their past 10 encounters on a 5 game winning streak at the moment with the Roosters last win against Melbourne 14 points to 6 and the Roosters last win in Melbourne was 21 points to 20 in 2019. Now for this game, I will go for the Roosters to win by 6 points. The Roosters have been in hot form ever since their last loss against the Panthers a couple of weeks ago. While, with, while Storm's been playing very well, they haven't been as consistent as the Roosters, so the Roosters... Our first of three Saturday games which kicks off from 3pm at GIO Stadium is between the Canberra Raiders and the Manly Sea Eagles. The Raiders' finals hopes are alive still after they, after they managed to beat the Knights in a competitive match 28 points to 22, while the Manly Sea Eagles succumbed to a huge loss in their final home game with Kieran Four and Dylan Walker and Mark and Tapel leaving for the club 40 points to 6 against the Sharks. 
The Canberra Raiders sit in ninth place on the brink of the top eight, trying to secure a top eight spot with what before the final scum start while well, mainly sit in eleventh place. In recent memory the Raiders sorry the, the Sea Eagles, sorry, have um, dominated the Raiders, winning eight of their past ten counts. The last win for the Raiders against Manly at GIO Stadium was in twenty eighteen when they won twenty one points to twenty. As Manly have a good record I mean, at GAO Stadium, winning seven of their last 13 games since 1998. But for this game, I will go for the Raiders to win by 16 points after their comeback against the Knights last week. I think they'll be very confident to beat Manly, so the Raiders to win by 16 points. Our second of three Saturday games is the Cronulla Sharks going against the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs at Points Bet Stadium. The Cronulla Sharks season continues with dominance as they manage to beat the Mealy Sea Eagles, flogging them 40 points to 6 at Four Points Park last week, while the Bulldogs succumbed to a big loss against the Parramatta Eagles at Bull- Combank Stadium last week, 42 points to 6. The Cronulla Sharks currently sit in third place in the top four, while the Bulldogs are hoping to avoid a bottom, a bottom, a bottom four spot as they currently sit in 12th place. The Sharks have dominated the Bulldogs in their last 10 counts by winning 8 of them. The Bulldogs' last win against the Sharks at Shark Park was in 2011 when they won 19 points to 12. But for this game, I'm going to go for the Sharks to win by 12 points. They have been doing very well this year. And they will continue that way as they try to secure a home's final before the final series starts. With the Bulldogs, even though they've been playing consistent ever since Big Potter has come, I think the Sharks are just will be too good for this one. So Sharks by 12 points. And the final game for Saturday is kicks off at 7:35 between my team, the South Sydney Rabbitohs, against the North Queensland Cowboys. I will be attending this game and I'll be doing a vlog as well. So stay tuned for that. The Rabbitohs have been playing all right um, this year. They currently sit in seventh place, while the Cowboys have been outstanding this year. to currently sit in second place. I had the Cowboys around the bottom four. I think I put them as 15th or 14th, but um, they have stunned me this year. They have been playing very well. The head-to-head records between the Rabbitohs and Cowboys have been quite even with the Cowboys winning four, the Rabbitohs winning six on a six-game winning streak. The Cowboys' last win over the Rabbitohs was in 2017, 23 points to 10. This is the first game of the course stadium between the two since 2015 as the Rabbitohs have taken um, three, games up the can- three home games up the Cairns against the Cowboys with Rabbitohs winning one and the Cowboys winning two. Now for this game... I would love the Bunnies to win, but I'm actually going to tip the Cowboys to win by four, paint, four, point, four points. Sorry. Now, the Cowboys' dominant win over the Warriors was very good, but I think Cowboys will be too strong for the Rabbitohs. But if the Rab- I won't, I'll be surprised if the Rabbitohs win. I would love them to have a Holmes final um, for this year, but I don't see them winning. Um, so, Cowboys by four points. Our first Sunday game kicks off at 2pm with the West Tigers going against the St George Illawarra Dragons. The West Tigers got slaughtered last week against the Roosters at the SCJ. 72 points to 6 while the Dragons enjoyed a final home game at Wynn Stadium. Win, good win over the Gold Coast Titans. 46 points to 26. The head-to-head between the Tigers and the Dragons has been quite even in the last 10 encounters, with drag- sorry, Tigers winning 6 and the Dragons winning 4. They have met at Combank Stadium only once, and that was last year with the Tigers winning 34 points to 18, but the Dragons managed to beat the Tigers early in the year, down in Wollongong, 12 points to 6. But for this game, I'll be tipping the Dragons by 20. Dragons um, win over the um, Titans last week was outstanding. And I think they'll be too good for the Tigers. As a big loss against the Roosters last week like that, I don't think they're going to win any uh, any of their last two games for the rest of the year. And they deserve the spoon. I'm sorry, but I think the Tigers will get the spoon this year. So the, ti- sorry, the Dragons to win. And the last Sunday game and the final game of the round is between the Gold Coast Titans and the Newcastle Knights. Gold Coast Titans sit in 15th, while the Newcastle Knights sit in 14th. The Titans have come to a loss to, against the Dragons, 46 points to 26, while the Newcastle Knights had a com- very competitive first half against the Raiders, but then didn't score a single point in the second half. 
letting them win, letting them score 20 unanswered points to win 28 points to 22. You know it's a great game. They were inconsistent in the second half. The head-to-head -head between the two clubs has been five each way in the last 10 encounters with the Gold Coast winning all five games against Newcastle um, there with Newcastle not scoring a win at Sea Bus Super Stadium since 2015 where they won 20 points to 18. So there's something for Gold Coast to brag about. But for this game, I will go for Newcastle to win by 10 points. I don't care about this game, honestly. It would have been a spoon bowl game if the Tigers were doing a lot more better. But it's, it is what it is. So Newcastle by 10 points. And that, everyone, will come towards the end of my video. Make sure you comment, comment down below what your tips are and winning margin is. I would like to know. And, yeah, I hope good luck for everyone for their tips this round. And I'll see you in the next next video. And I will be doing a vlog for the Rabbitohs Cowboys game on Saturday. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.